They call him Bello Cello. They call him Bello Cello. It's the name of the book. They call him Bello Cello. They call him Bello Cello, and I'll read him to you. I'll read him to you. I'll read him to you. <laughs> Ever since I got Hootie the Owl in music classes, his musical development has been amazing, his language skills have improved, and our jam sessions are off the hook! Bello the Cello by Dennis, who I got to meet. Super nice guy. And can I just say that the cello just happens to be one of my absolutely favorite instruments. You haven't heard one? You will. Now, let's see. Oh, and look at that. Dedicated to who? You and me. Right here at Kid Time Story Time. And dedicated to his lovely lady. That's so nice when an author dedicates a book to somebody that he or she loves. Maybe one day when you write a book, you can do the same. Bello the cello was thrilled about his first day of school. Ooh, first day of school is always so exciting and a little bit nerve wracking. His teacher, Ms. Melody, Oh, was a treble clef full of joy and magic. Walking into her room was like looking into other worlds. Giant color patterns on the walls moved to music. Oh, I want to be in that classroom. Bello and his friends walked into their new classroom with wonder-soaked gasps, which sounded like this. Oh, oh, like that. To make new friends, Miss Melody said, I want us to go around the room, say our names, and sing our songs. Bello wrinkled his nose, like this. He twisted his lips, like this. He didn't know what kind of song he would sing. Oh, don't worry, Bello. Maybe you find out in class. After all, we're here to learn. Let's see who all our friends are. Hi, I'm Timmy the Tambourine said an energetic thin fella. Hi, Timmy. Isn't he cute? He had a shiny flat coin like thing hanging off his body. Look at that. That's right. The little in a high pitched voice. He said, when I move my body and hit my drummy tum, see what happens. And then there was a shimmy, a shimmer, and yeah. And his coins started shaking, his jingles started quaking, his hands were in the air, his feet were tapping away, even his hips were shimmying. Woo! Woo! That's fun, the tambourine. Oh, next up. Hello, I'm Finnegan, the flute fluterson, said a tiny little flute with beaming pride. I come from a prestigious family of flutes. The class filled in, naturally. Finnegan whistled and out trickled little birds tweeting. <laughs> and Miss Melody started snapping. Ah, the flute. You know, Storyteller played the flute in school. I'm Guillermo, said a handsome guitar. See what I can do. Jing, jing, da, jing. Ja jing jing jing. He started excitedly strumming and a rainbow flowed out of him. A rainbow. How beautiful. Soon they were all singing. Sierra the saxophone illuminated the floor with circles of blue. And Polly the piano's keys lit up into colors when he played. Dia the drums rhythms even made a bright and glorious sun appear smiling over them. Wow, I love how the whole classroom just comes to life with color and joy with music. Are you going to be joining your friends, Bello? We'd love to hear you sing. Um, <clears throat> maybe a little later, Bello said with hesitation in his voice, you know, his cute little cello face. Oh, but does my song have magic? He wondered. It doesn't even sound like theirs, he thought. Mm-hmm because we all have our own unique sound, Bello. 
Later, while everyone was at recess, Bella was helping get the room ready for nap time. Oh, you're so considerate, Bella, a voice said gently. Bella startled. Quietly, he turned around like this. Who was it? There he was, so big, so bright. The moon. <gasps> oh, that's a big deal. Mr. Moon, Bello said, my friends sing and it makes everyone dance. I don't know how to make my song fit in because my song just doesn't sound like theirs. Beaming down, Mr. Moon said, it's not about what you can't do, but rather about what you can do. Bello, what can your song do? Hmm, that's a question we must all ask ourselves. What can your song do? Before he could answer, ring, the classmates started stumbling in one by one. I'm ready for my nap, said Guillermo the guitar. Uh, my legs are tired from all that drumming, said Dia the drum, yawning. Bella's friends started laying down to nap, but even though they're all looking quite sleepy, they couldn't quite fall asleep. Then suddenly, like a light bulb turning on, ding, like a matchstick spark, shh, like a bubble pop, Bello had an idea. What can your song do? Echoed in Bello's mind. A smooth and deep, soothing song slowly filled the room. It was very calming. It was his friends started closing their eyes one by one. Peace and quiet flooded Ms. Melody's room. After everyone was asleep, <gasps> Bello quietly laid down too, and he knew he had found his song. So, what can your song do? Bello the cello found out that his gift was for soothing, low music that makes you think, it makes you feel rested, it makes you feel peaceful. It may be perfect for nap time, like it was in his classroom where everybody else's instruments were party, party, party. His was nap time, nap time, which, well, we need both, don't we? And I love cello. Why, you're wondering? Ugh because it is so soothing and beautiful and it speaks to my soul. Ooh, ooh, yes, yes, as a matter of fact, it totally does. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, of sure. course, so we'll, we'll play it at bedtime, why not? Do, do you wanna hear some now? Ooh, ooh. You wanna hear some now? Yeah? Let's hear some cello music. See how soothing it is? Yeah, you like it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know. Maybe it'll be your favorite instrument too. Or find the one that's your instrument and see what speaks to you and your heart and your musical ear and your soul. See you next time, kid, on Hoo 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 Hoo, where we love to jam to Bello Cello. Hoo 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 Hoo. We are Bello Cello and we are so cool. Hoo 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll read it to you. Ooh, 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 ooh.